breaking news, some tense moments for officers as they tried to get a man holed up inside this apartment to drop his gun, but they were forced to shoot him. Yeah, Teddy's caught some of the action here. Kind of grainy, but there definitely is. You can see some officers there. Teddy's Marie Cornell is in San Isidro, and Marie Police just held a news conference so that we took live. You have an update now on the man who was shot. Yeah, so in this uh, news conference, Robert, we learned that the man who was shot has died at the hospital. Right now, you can see still police tape blocking the section in front of this apartment. You have patrol cars, investigators still out here gathering evidence. What we've learned is that it was a 911 call that someone made inside of the second floor, uh, one of those second floor apartments. That person hung up, and that's why officers came here to do a welfare check. When they knocked on the door, uh, police tell us a guy opened the door with a handgun in his hand. Uh, he was flashing it at the officers. There was also a woman inside of the apartment. The officers uh, went down the stairs, took cover, and then police say the guy walked down the stairs pointing the gun at the officers. Three officers fired uh, at the guy. Uh, that man was taken to the hospital where he died. They tell us he was 59 years old. The woman who was inside, they say she is okay. Uh, she was not injured, but they cannot comment on the relationship between the two because they say they're still trying to sort all of that out. Uh, investigators will be out here for some time uh, trying to get more evidence and piece together this, inv this investigation. We will continue uh, staying in contact with the officers out here to find out more about their status in this investigation. We're live from San Isidro, Marie Cornell, 10 News.